Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example we have an ellipse and we need to find the center, the vertices and foci of the ellipse. So first of all let's take a look. This is the general form of an ellipse and if we look to that, this form and the one given we can see what? H should be negative 1, right? Because x plus 1 is the same thing like x minus negative 1 and k should be 2. That gives us the center, which is negative 1 and 2. Okay, then we can look and see, hey, a squared is 25. So that means a is square root of 25. So be careful, you have plus and minus 5. b squared is 16. So b will be plus or minus 4, right, square root of 16. Um, so now I can do also c square. c square will be a square minus b square will be 25 minus 16 in this case. That will be 9. And uh, c will be then square root of 9, which is going to be plus and minus 3. Okay, so we have the, these three things here that can help you to... Uh, get the foci and the vertices algebraically if you want. Well, let me take, let me show you a little bit of a graphical approach. In case you do not like the formula, let's see what is the meaning. The center is negative one and two, one left, two up. This is the center, All right? And now the major axis is y equals two. Why? Because we notice that 25 is the largest number, so uh, the uh, major axis is going to be on a horizontal line. And that is the major axis. On this major axis, I'm going to need to move 5 left and right from the center, because A is plus and minus 5. So from this center of negative 1 and 2, 5 left, that will be uh, somewhere here. And that will be a negative 6 and 2 because you move 5 left you move 5 right and you get um, 4 and 2 and these are the the endpoints on the major axis and the focal axis and if you want to get the other two vertices which are on the minor axis which is uh, x equals negative 1 we're going to have to move 4 up, 4 down. So from uh, negative 1 and 2, we're going to move 4 up. We're going to be at negative 1 and 6. And 4 down, we're going to be somewhere here. That will be uh, negative 1 and 2 minus 4, negative 2. And this is a sketch of the uh, ellipse. You're going to see in a moment the real one. And also... Let's use the last thing, C, which it, uh, will help us to find the coordinates of the vertices. From this uh, center, we're going to move 3 left, and that will be uh, negative 4 and 2, and 3 right, and that will be 2 and 2. These are the two forces. And that's pretty much what you need to do. But like I said, you can use an algebraic way. I'm going to clear this screen to see the exact picture. It's right here. And you'll, need, you'll notice the same uh, elements I just mentioned. The center, the vertices I mentioned before, and the forces. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back. I'll see you square for more help. Thank you.